Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card is a basket weave. It was really fun to make. I'm using this The Whole Herd set by My Favorite Things. It's got such cute animals in it. I'm also using the basket weave die by Tailored Expressions and I'm going to cut it both ways and weave the paper. And then finally I have these stitch circles from Simon Says Stamp which have stitching on the inside and the outside. So I'm going to take some pumpkin pie cardstock by Stampin' Up. I'm going to die cut this twice with the pumpkin pie and then also some real red. I'm going to cut it once. And I'm going to use all these inserts to actually do the weave. Now you can't use the very outside, um, but you can use the inside ones for additional pieces that you'll need to weave through. You'll need 15 pieces in total to complete the weave from the bottom to the top. So once I get all these pieces, I'm going to take whatever I don't need and put them off to the side. And I'll start with my red base and I'm going to weave these pieces in and out. So just take one piece at a time and they're cut a little bit longer than the width of the frame here. And so you'll just weave it in and out and then push it nice and snug to the end. And I found, found that it was easier to weave it kind of toward the bottom where the pieces were a little bit more bendable, more flexible, and then push it down. And uh, this kind of reminded me of all those pod holders I used to make when I was a kid on that pod holder loom. Now all these pieces are going to hang off the edge, which is great because then we'll glue them down and then cut off the excess. So um, I'm going to show you here all the way down now to my last one and it's really amazing that the last one fits just exactly perfectly so that there's no gap at all. So it was a really well planned out die. Um, and even though it's the last one it was still pretty easy to weave in and out. I chose these colors because I thought the red and the orange would look kind of more like a barn and uh, it would go well with my stamp set. The next step is to secure all these ends into place. I decided to use a two-way glue pen, which uh, is pretty precise in its application, and I don't have a whole lot of liquid coming out, so uh, it's just the perfect amount, and when you press down on it, you can see I'm doing a little bit at a time and pressing down. Uh, it only takes maybe 10 or 15 seconds to uh, really stick so that you don't have to hold it down anymore. So I'm going to do the top and the bottom of the right and then I'll do the top and the bottom of the left just a few pieces at a time until I get it all done. So you can hear they, see here they're all adhered. So I'm going to put that off to the side to dry and I'm going to work on my chicken. I'm going to stamp the uh, stack of hay and the chicken in Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to be coloring them with Copics. For the hay, I started off with an all over Y21 color just to provide a base. I'm not going to worry too much about going all the way to the bottom because I'm going to die cut this. And then I took the R24, which is kind of a mustardy uh, yellow color, darker than the hay. And I'm just lightly drawing these hay pieces uh, just from top to bottom. I flipped it over because I thought it might be easier to flick upward, but I wasn't getting the look that I wanted. It was much better for me to go uh, straight up and down. And then I took the E31, which you wouldn't think would really go, and I'm not sure it changed it that much, but I think it filled in some of the gaps and it put a color in there that was between the Y21 and the R YR24, so it just sort of made it blend a little bit better. So uh, after that, I went ahead and colored my chicken. I'm using W1, W3, and W5. You know, sometimes I do an all-over color of the lightest color, and then I color over it with the other markers. Um, but sometimes if I have a small area, I'll start with the dark and end with the light. And the reason why I do that is because when it's a small area, I don't want to saturate the paper too much with color. For his body, I wanted it to be white, so I'm just adding a few shadows with the W1 and then blending it out with the uh, Zero Colorless Blender. And then finally, I'm just adding a couple of more details, uh, R27 to the top. And now I'll take my stitch circle and I'm going to die cut that out right in the center. And now that I have that all finished, I'll put that off to the side and I'll work on my sentiment. This is just a piece of Stampin' Up! black cardstock. I'm going to stamp it with uh, some Versamark ink, which is just a clear sticky ink. And I use the top edge, and that's going to be uh, my permanent edge. And that way I just have to cut one side and get it all even. So I'll sprinkle that with some white embossing powder and I'll heat it to set it. I like to use the black cardstock with the white sentiment when I have a lot of colors in the card or something that I just want to pop. So I'm going to cut this to a banner and um, I like it to be perfect. So I'm going to measure one quarter of an inch and then another quarter of an inch. 
midway between the top and the bottom of this strip. And I'm going to do that on either side of the sentiment to make sure it's all even. Now on that outermost dot, so it's a half an inch outside of the sentiment, I'm just going to cut straight across and that's going to be the edge of this banner. And then for the first quarter of an inch dot, I'm going to cut from the center to the dot and then I'll cut from the corner edge to that center dot again and then again to the center dot from the other side. And this will give me a perfectly formed banner. So I'm gonna do that same exact thing on the other side. So to the center and then from either side to that one dot. And now I'm gonna trim out my basket weave. Um, I took a large scissor because I think it's easier to make these kind of cuts with a large scissor. And I'm using the red cardstock as a die. And I'm just slowly, even though it's fast in the video, I slowly cut these pieces and they all popped off and the glue worked and, and everything stayed into place. Now it's time to put it together. So I just added a bunch of Stampin' Up! dimensionals. They're just foam adhesive circles. And I'm gonna center it maybe a little bit higher uh, than center on the basket weave. And then I cut these pieces, the dimensionals, in half to put on my sentiment. And I'm just gonna overlap just a little bit of that bottom edge of the circle. And then finally, I'll grab my ATG and I'm gonna put some uh, tape runner on the back and adhere it to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch folded piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. And the die fits just in the center so you have about an eighth of an inch mat on all sides. So that's the card for today. It's really super cute. I really had fun making it and I know I'm going to be using these barn animals a lot in future cards. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.